Hello, this is Alex on the Pangeo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the third week of July. Chairman Che Tae Wan and his friend stopped by at Kakao. Mm. Kakao MM, pronounced mm, is hosting an audio live talk show by inviting the heads of large corporations. Kakao announced on July 9th that the chairman group of the Korea Chamber of Commerce and Industry, KCCI, will hold an audio live talk show to discuss and listen to opinions on the new role of companies on its social audio platform, UM. This event will be held for about an hour and a half from 9 p.m. that day under the theme, The Company We Want. The speakers will be KCCI Chairman Che Tae Won, Seoul Chamber of Commerce and Industry Vice Chairman Yi Won Hyun, who is the OCI Vice Chairman, and Bespin Global CEO Yi Han Ju. One Kakao official said, as anyone can participate in the social audio platform, mm, we expect that it will provide an opportunity for new communication to exchange real-time voice communication. We plan to create a place where users can interact with more unique topics in the future, including collaboration with the company. Next up, AI engine development specialist Soynet attracts 1 billion won in follow-up investment. The Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, or the GCCEI, announced on July 12th that the company it invested in, Soynet, has successfully attracted follow-up investment. Soynet is a technology-based early startup supported by the program K Challenge Lab, set up by the GCCEI, and it has attracted 1 billion won in follow-up investment. It has been six months since GCCEI made a direct investment last January. Soynet is an AI engine development specialist that develops and supplies solutions that maximize the use of a graphic processing unit, GPU, and maximize inference speed by minimizing memory used. The company introduced these solutions when it incorporated in 2018 and it is supplying products to a number of companies using AI services from companies such as POSCO and Neuromeca. An official from the GCCEI said, Soyna is a promising innovative company that we discovered and this follow-up investment was achieved within a very short period after we made a direct investment with them. Encouraged by this achievement, we will keep doing our job of discovering promising innovative companies and making investments. For the next story, COVID-19 vaccination certificate available on Naver and Kakao Talk from July 12th. In cooperation with the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, Naver and Kakao will provide a COVID-19 vaccination certification service from July 12th. Users who have been vaccinated can verify their vaccination through Kakao Talk and Naver app's Key Pass or Korea Internet Pass QR check-in. First in Kakao Talk, click import vaccination information on the QR check-in screen from the More tab and go through the consent process. Vaccination information will be included in the QR code and the vaccination certificate will also be issued and stored in the Kakao Talk wallet. The vaccination certificate will display information such as the vaccination session, vaccine name, and the date of vaccination. In the Naver app, vaccination information will be displayed at the bottom of the QR check-in screen for easy authentication. If you set the mobile phone shake function on the initial screen of the app, you can use the NA or NA service or QR check-in right away. It provides vaccination information and also detailed information on the COVID-19 vaccines. It will display the session of vaccination, days passed since the vaccination, if vaccinated within 14 days. For the final story, Crafton's Battlegrounds mobile sale ranks second in India and proves its popularity. According to the game industry on July 7th, Battlegrounds Mobile India, which started service in India on July 2nd, ranked second in Google Play sales in India. Starting with the launching of Battleground Mobile India, Crafton is planning to set up various competitions and leagues fostering the esports ecosystem in India. For this, it participated in a seed round investment of 9 million US dollars, about 10.1 billion won in Loco, a local game streaming platform last month. And in March, it also invested 1.66 billion rupees, about 25.5 billion won, in India's esports company, Nodwin Gaming. 
The company said Battlegrounds Mobile India has so many Indian fans that 40 million people pre-ordered it. Crafton is keeping an eye on the potential of the Indian market and it is actively penetrating the market by developing games and providing contents and events exclusively for Indian users. Also, we are planning to do our best to foster the Indian esports ecosystem by organizing various games, competitions, and leagues. The reason Crafton continues to have interest in the Indian market is highly related to bright market prospects. According to the multinational consulting firm KPMG, the Indian online game market of about 2 trillion won this year is expected to more than double to 4.4 trillion won by 2025. And finally, for your Pongo Techno Valley quick news updates of the week. First up, Nexon unveils its ambition, Project HP. Nexon unveiled its new AAA project, Project HP, a working title, under development for the first time through its new development headquarters. Nexon released the teaser video of Project HP for the first time on July 6th and announced the pre-alpha test schedule on the 5th of next month. This original IP-based game is the first game Nexon is introducing since the establishment of the new development headquarters. The director of this AAA game, designed to run on the highest platform in the present era, is E. Unzok, who has also developed Vindictus, Durango Wildlands, and White Day. Next quick news update, Naver uses Hyperclova for voice recognition with 30% improvement in accuracy. Naver announced on July 8th that it has applied the deep learning technology of its Hyperscale AI Hyperclova to its voice recognition engine. In the future, Naver will install an upgraded engine like this in various AI-based voice recognition services like Clova Note and Clova Contact Center to provide a convenient user experience. And finally, NHN selected as a supplier for financial cloud support business. NHN announced on July 6th that NHN Cloud was selected as the 2021 financial cloud support project by FinTech Center Korea. And that's it for the Pongo Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.